everyone, Thalma here, and my channel is Seasonal Crafts and Creations. Welcome back, welcome if you're new. If you're new or are returning to watch this video, I hope you consider subscribing to my channel and clicking that bell so you want me to send you my future uploads. And if you like this haul, then go ahead and click that like button, it'll really help my channel grow. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. It's a Dollar Tree with a little bit of Walmart haul, and it's huge. It's Easter with a little bit of Crafter Square. So, where to start? Let's see. I think I want to start with these signs. This one is a yard sign. Look how cute that bunny is. And it is, Bunny, please stop here. That's real good. And it's a rather long um, steak. And I like, I like how they've got the, it's like burlap in the back painted with blue trim. And just look at that bunny with his little ear drooped over there and his little whiskers. They actually, they're, Paint it on, but they actually look like they're uh, glued on there, but they're not. Now, his eyeballs are, and, and they move. The little black in them, see how it moves? Okay, there's that one. And then the other yard sign that I have is this cute, adorable little chick. Look how cute. And then I like the bow, how it's three different colors. And then there's another burlap. I'll probably end up taking that one off. But isn't that just darling? And they had these last year, but I ended up using mine in a after Easter last year for a different DIY. Now I want to show you. This is the wall sign. Happy Easter with the bunny. And look at the feet. They're actually glued on there with a little bit of glitter and a little um, um, bow here, which I'll probably end up taking off and putting another bow on it, maybe some um, plaid or burlap, and then put this back on top of it. And then they have another one, but if you look, the only thing I see different is... This one just has regular ears, and that's drooped over, and this one has ears that are standing straight up, and it has painted on this tin. I think it's called galvanized tin, and um, other than that, and the background, this one is wood, and this is the bunny painted all the way down. If you see the difference, you could actually make one into a girl by putting, um, I'd keep this one a boy, and then this one I would put a, a little pink bow here and make it into a girl. Okay, now I don't remember seeing these in my store, but this is see Easter greetings it's in glitter and it has this bunny that is glued on and it's galvanized tin with burlap bow look at the flowers and I love the wooden fence in the background there and uh, you can always pop this off and use it on a different DIY and um, sand it down and use the front or flip it over and use the back and make your own DIY. <laughs> That's my cat, the oldest one I have. His name is Butterscotch and he is 12 years old, but he's still getting around. He's, he's a good boy. And then this one is Happy Easter and that one was in blue glitter. This one is in pink glitter. And this one has eggs down here. Where this one, the eggs, wow. <laughs> Where 
um, he made his own rope going through, going back. Uh, see the difference in the bottom and the eggs and the background? And then there's this one. I picked up two of these. It is the top arrow says Easter Bunny and then there's an egg. It's in pink. And then we have Egg Hunt with a little Easter Bunny. And then, um, what is that? Jelly Bean Trail with a real colorful Easter egg. And there's glitter going throughout it. Like, the words are glitter on this one. Yeah, they're all glitter. And if you don't like it, you can always flip it around and make your own DIY. Now those, these signs would not only look good hanging on your wall, but they'd look good in a reef at the end of, on each side of a door or window and make a bur uh, burlap, <laughs> make a ribbon with some bows hanging uh, and the tails hanging and curling. And then we have, <clears throat> excuse me, this Easter Bunny, he's got some glue stuck to him. Let me get that off there. It says spring. Isn't she just adorable? Look at her little cheeks. I think she looks perfect just the way she is. And then here's the boy one. He, he looks like he's in an Easter egg. And then it just says happy Easter. And uh, they're, just, they're both just adorable. And what are you doing, Daisy? My little girl kitten's here checking out the stuff. Here we go. You can see her. There's Daisy. There you go. You going to get down there and be nosy? Okay, then I have, they've had this one, um... I've seen these before. The hunt is on, and there is a glittered Easter basket with Easter eggs. And again, you can um, use these reef on the wall as it is. You can even just uh, lean it on a table and let it lean back into your lamp or something. And um, Or you can flip it around and create your own DIY. Now I have, let me grab the other one, here it is, I found, these are just adorable, now this one's pink and says Happy Easter, and has Easter eggs and the little bunnies butt going into the truck, I think that's just so sinking cute, and then this one is blue and the difference is instead of Easter eggs there's carrots and those look at the they're like pastel colors real beautiful and I have a few more signs now I've used these before but I love to um, redoing them and and um, using them every year, and then I donate. This one says, Hep Hippity Hoppity, Easter's on its way. It's just gorgeous. It's a real big egg, too. And then this one is Every Bunny Welcome. And let's see, just... These are my last two signs. Now this one, I love this one. I've never seen this one before. It's a uh, welcome and it has little different colored bunnies and glitter with a pom-pom as a tail. And I just love the, the colors, the, the white background. This is glitter. They're all, they're just so stinking cute. I love it just the way it is. 
And then there's a cot cottontail crossing with a glitter Easter egg. And then there's carrot patch with a carrot. And then there's Easter bunny with a cute little Easter bunny glued on there. Those are adorable. Okay, now, last year, I didn't know they had, I picked up two of these last year, but I picked up two boys, and I had to take the bows off and make my own girls, but this year, I paid attention, and I was able to get the girl and the boys, <laughs> and uh, I just love how she's got little daisies flowers at her ear with um, a little bow tied from jute rope and just look at that cute little face and then we've got the, the I can't talk we've got the male look at his face and their own little stakes you can um, take these off and you can glue these uh, back to back or I would or leave one stick on glue these back to back and then put them like in the back of the tr a truck or in a flower arrangement or something they look real nice I picked up another one of these um how, how tall it it's 17.3 inch bunny wreath frame I think this is going to make a real nice reef. And I was able to find, I was lucky none of them fell out because um, it almost, the top ripped off. There's eight in here and they're just craft bunny and it's just the foam and you paint them yourself. And you could get little, um, sticks just kebab sticks or anything and put on them and have your own little bunny painted when put some glitter on it and um make your own little bunny <clears throat> here you want to get through there go ahead okay now they have they have these every year there's 12 of them and I picked up two. They're the foam eggs that you can hang on trees. And one is solid colors. These are. And this one has stripes and stuff going throughout them, if you see. And they have their little uh, ribbon here so it can hang on the tree. And it doesn't have to hang on the tree. You can take the, the ribbon off and you can thread some string going from one end to the other, put one of each color, and then start over and make a long garland. Okay, I found some of these, and um, there's two treat sacks with big floppy ears. Look at them. I don't know if they had these last year or not. I've never seen them. But I love those ears. And uh, be looking out. I'm going to be making a DIY with these. And I found some of this Easter grass. It has uh, it's like paper. And there's purple, yellow, and green. I picked up two of these. I think these uh, look real nice in a Easter basket or if you make like a, a egg arrangement a centerpiece put some in a basket or a, a Easter bow or it doesn't even have to have be an Easter bow. it could be uh, just a regular bow that is white pink purple blue you know Easter um, looking colors and put some of this in it and then put your little eggs and your bunnies going around it. And that'll look real, make a real nice centerpiece. Like these bunnies. You can take the sticks off. And um, you get 
four in a pack. And purple, blue, and pink. You can take the, the six off and you could put these with eggs going around as a centerpiece. And they got these back in again. And I picked up two. I thought I picked up two of the of the golden eggs, but I just picked up one. And I picked up two of the regular eggs with a uh, I caught paint splatter on them. Let's see. I picked up. These are felt stickers. They each, well, they each have different pieces in it. This one is the bunny with different color ears, and there's 12 of them in it. Look how cute that is. See how there's pink and blue? And then there's these little, there's a uh, six different color eggs. And then there's nine, and it's carrots. Cute little carrots. Okay, I picked up, I want to show you the difference. If you um, like getting the striped uh, mesh, this is the solid, it's not striped. <laughs> but, um,. Pay attention, like this one has pink, yellow, blue, and purple. Now this one has pink, yellow, purple, yellow, pink. I mean, you can use them both, but um, just pay attention if you're wanting to get so many. There's another solid pink one. If you're wanting to get, um, like this one is blue, yellow, pink, blue, yellow, pink. See how there's different different ones. Um, I didn't I didn't notice that until this year. Okay, and then there's some in the Crafter Square. I think that's no the pink that I showed you. This pink is in the Crafter Square. This one is in the Easter. This real pretty blue is in the crafter square and it, it they are six inches by five yards and then we have the green and they were pretty purple they're like pastel colors and i have another i'm just making sure i want to go through and get each item out all of them and show them that way i'm not re Step in my steps, and here's another. I got two of each one because I'm thinking of making um, a garland and a reef, so it's good to have two of each one. And they have some different types of eggs this year, and I picked up. As many as I could see, like this one is eight, and it's green, purple, blue, and it's like a pink, and they have little zigzags going through them. And then there's these, um, I think, I believe this is purple, and it's real, real big. Easter bunnies, and look at his face and mouth, his little little feet, paws in the front, and his ears. Oh, her, her ears are real small right there. And then her feet are pink. And then we have these white Easter bunnies, and there's eight in it. And then there's this um, different colors with glitter. These are real nice. I think they're cute. 
But what's really cute is the little bunny that I just showed you, the clear one, and this little clear um, duck. Look how cute those are. I mean, you only get, this one only has three in it, and so did the, the bunnies. But look how much bigger they are. Okay, um, I was lucky. They said that they told that they um, had a little bit of stuff from last Easter that didn't sell even after Easter, and I found one of these. Now I do know I don't think they're com coming out with these this year. They have bigger ones with um, less uh, count in it. And they're about like that big, and they didn't have any there. Okay, and then I oh well, here's another Easter. I love these. Um, they're eight in them, and these are a different glitter. Look at that. It's like neon. I love how they really did this. They really are going out of their way. The Dollar Tree is, I mean, stepping up their game. Yeah, they raised the price from a dollar to a dollar twenty-five, but um, my store hasn't. I think they said it would be in March. Um, but really, it's not that bad. It's since they're coming out with more high-quality stuff. And then here's some glitter vase filler. There's a hundred and ten. And there's pink, blue, I think that's like a yellow, and purple. Let's see. Let me show you these little bunnies. If I quit dropping them. First, I want to show you this little bunny tail I've got with, with a clip on the back. But I'm going to cut this off and take pull this out, and I want to use this. I want to make, cross my fingers, that it turns out like my, like my other gnomes. I think I'm going to make a real large uh, Easter Bunny gnome, and um, I think it's, I think it'll be real cute. I hope. Okay, let me show you these stuffed animals. This is a cute little yellow duck with a egg on its paw on its belly and look how look at its little paws and look at that face I have one of them right here I gave the snuggles my key cat that is sleeping there that's why the covers back here and the pillows aren't uh, I wasn't gonna wake him up just to uh, you know make it real pretty back here Anyway, um, and then I found this bunny, and let's see, they have it in white and pink, white and blue, and then blue and white, and that one's got a carrot on its belly, and let's see, is there any more stuffed animals? Okay. I picked up some more of these. They have these every year, but uh, you can't beat beat it. These are all the different sizes. This is a five piece. This is bigger, the bigger than the five. There's four in it, and then this one has ten in it. And these look real nice in flower arrangements or <clears throat> like if you have a flower arrangement and you stick like one of these bunnies in it, like showing the, put a little uh, pom-pom on it, cut this off, put a little pom-pom on it because it doesn't have a, a bunny tail and have it like going in to the flower arrangement and have a... Um, one of these, I'd cut the stake down, you know, to match the length of the flower arrangement, 
and have that and then get you one of those I can't see it now but one of the carrots and put in there and with the flowers and that'll look real nice okay and then I found this happy Easter little um, box I haven't made up my mind what I'm going to use it for um, yet and let's see there is two of these signs I had stuff hid behind me here I almost forgot about it well I did forget about it until I just seen it okay this is one of these kind a bunch of different eggs with um, a cute little bunny happy Easter on that's just the cutest little thing and then there's I think this is different yes this one has it, um, happy Easter with a little duck and eggs and real pretty eggs and then a little bunny rabbit look at that how cute and two more no one more egg and a little chick and then I could I wasn't able to find um, the egg but I was lucky and found the last two of the the wood that you paint or you can get that crafting paper and Mod Podge it on and it looks real nice like that I did that last year with the smaller ones the the smaller wood uh, bunnies and stuff and then I put it on my Easter tree okay I have a lot of ribbon here well first I'll show you this um, I found this it says this chick's ready for Easter and it's a little chicken running <laughs> look how cute and uh, this says follow the bunny he has the chocolate now I'll probably redo this because he has is right here and you could barely see it and so is this but you can see that better than this but isn't that a cute bunny and then I found this yarn craft kit it it's it makes two and what it is it makes that little bunny right there and here's what you get in it and then there's this pom-pom kit and there's six kits and there's the little bunny and the little duck and look at everything you get in this that's a lot and then there's this little basket with its fabric and look at the floppy ears real adorable let me put these back in here and next I'm going to show you the um, the ribbon that I have I have this burlap I found uh, two of them I'm just going to throw that over there in my craft tote because right now I still have my my Valentine, yeah, my Valentine's stuff and the totes in my craft room, and um, so I'm just gonna put everything in a tote, put it in a corner, and then after Valentine's, when I'm taking stuff down, then I'll pull it out and arrange it and put it in my craft room. And I found some of these, the um, they're glitter eggs with white background. Let's see, there's, now this one has 
eggs and a little, where's that bunny? Here's a little pink bunny right here. And then that's what it looks like going all the way around. And then I found some solid colors, which this is the same. Oh, and there's this one. It's Easter eggs with, it's showing the, the bunny, the back of it, uh, hopping. I think that's the only one that I've seen of that one. And then there's another one of them burlap ones. Now these are, um, um, I think nine foot, and here's some of the pink, the purple, and it's like a teal green. Another one of the, the um, eggs. Let me see. And then another pink. Another one of the, the bunny hopping with the eggs. And then I found several. I want to bundle these up together. There's one more in here. I got two each. It's the bunny, bunny paws. The bunny showing them looking. You can see the back of them. And then this is burlap with the carrots. I picked up some yellow, just plain um, gross grain, gross grain ribbon, five yards into Cracker Square. I found some more Easter ribbon. This is just glitter and this is just a real pretty pink and then to match that burlap one I was thinking of using this Easter one I think it says it just says happy Easter and it's got eggs on it and I picked up a few of the Crafter Square, the lace one. Now they have this in blue and pink too, but they were out of it. But I got this real pretty green, light blue, and yellow. Now, let's see. I found this uh, little tin bucket with all the butterflies in the spring stuff all the flowers and then um, I picked up several things of these uh, what is this burlap ribbon And that's another blue. Um, I picked up some pink yarn and two different um, crochet hooks. Some more sponge paint brushes. Seems like I go through these faster than I can get them. And some of these round. I picked up two packs of these. They come two in a pack. But I'm going to be doing a DIY for spring using these. And using this uh, lightweight spackling. I picked up about four of these. And this um, Crafter Square Spanish Moss. They have this in all the time. There's the yarn. And I picked up some more of these natural rope jute. Let me see. We have the, the white, 
One is 11.1 foot and one is 6.8 foot. So, you know, pay attention when you're getting these or you might, you know, make a mistake and get one of each uh, size when you need two of the same size. And then there's this in the brown. Now, they had these last year, but uh, I picked up another one because I'm going to use it to put cat treats in it. I think it'll be fresher. It'll keep them fresher than put, leaving them sealed in the pack. And I picked up another one of these little um, pitcher boxes. Um, Crafter Square Pearson and Scorn two piece. I picked up two more of these um, wood hanging decors. I'm going to use them um, for if I can find the other two I have. I'm wanting to use them to make some Easter signs. I picked up a silver charger plate. I'm wanting to use it and some some of the square foam and some flowers and ribbon and make a real nice centerpiece. I picked up two more of these Crafter Square um, canvases. I think they're eight by eight by ten. And then I found these, um, their stencil wheel and, um, poacher row. Yeah, their stencil. And what it is, it has, this has, um, birthday hats and, um, candles, balloons, happy birthday presents and then it start oh and then cake and then this one has balloons I'm trying to get this to go around um what does that say happy birthday presents cake i think i bought two accidentally i thought i picked up one of each, but it's no big deal. I'm sure I'll end up running one or losing it, so it's good for me to have an extra one. And I picked up one each of these size buckets. And another one of these uh, six outlet wall tap. They're, these are really nice. They work real good. Uh, a plunger to do a DIY. I'm not going to use it. I don't do that. <laughs> but um, I'm going to do a DIY using this in one of those buckets that I just showed you. Okay, now that's it for the Dollar Tree. Now I'm going to show you the, um, the Walmart. Now these are the same. And they're 98 cents. I love the purple background. And look at all them eggs. And then there's this Happy Easter with the little bunny. Picked up that one. And then this one with all these different eggs going around it. And um, this white background with these eggs. Now these are, these were 98 cents each. Let me go ahead and move these out of the way. Now, let's see. There's some ribbon that I picked up. I just knocked it all over the place. Okay. picked up these little this is the bunny the eggs and this one says happy easter 
with eggs. And then uh, this was $3.98. And it, what it is, it's a bunch of um, Easter eggs. And then in some of them, there's little bunnies. And it's, this is 2.5 inch by 12 foot. And let's see, there's some bunnies that I want to show you. These were, um, there's the other one. These were 98 cents each. And I picked up the pink one, the purple one, and the real cute little blue one. Look how cute they are. These are adorable. Okay, I picked up these bag of glitter eggs for, um, there's 10 of them, and they were like a, a $1.98, and you get all different colors, and I picked up this bigger bunny. My kitten, the one I showed you earlier, she seen, uh, ripped the tag off of it. She was bunny, uh, doing the bunny kick and uh, swinging it around. I mean, she really likes this one. I want to keep it out and let her have it. Now, the last few things is some paint. Let me get this kind out first. This is chalk paint, and it's called Slate Acrylic Paint. These are about like $2. That lid ain't on there, there. And then there's the Antique Finishing Wax. And another slate. And a midnight and a ivory. And then I picked up this uh, extra fine white glitter. And the last are these paints. I picked up this burnt umber matte acrylic quick dry and easy cleanup paint. This um, folk art li licorice. I thought I would use this um, to do some edging, do the farmhouse look. Um, and that way I don't have to use the burnt umber and just see. I want, I'm curious to see if it looks the same because see how they're real close. And then I picked up a, a white, it's Alpha Barrel Matte Acrylic Quick Drying Easy Cleanup Paint. And then this real pretty Lavender Sacket. And another chalk paint. It is Swan White. Okay, I want to thank y'all for stopping by and checking out my haul. If you like it, Hit that thumbs up. It really helped my channel grow. Um, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell next to it. That way you won't miss any of my future uploads. And I would really love to include you as part of my family here on YouTube. Alright, until next time.